Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to Visual Basic.net tutorials. Today we are speaking about subroutine, and this will be a very quick tutorial. Uh, okay, first of all, subroutines are very similar to functions, uh, they are almost exactly the same, except that functions return a value, uh, uh, functions return values to the main program, while subroutines uh, don't do that. Okay. So to demonstrate how to work with uh, subroutines, we're gonna create this simple application. It's more, uh, it's a phone book application. Uh, what it's gonna do is uh, display a list of people with their phone numbers and allow you to search these numbers. Okay, so uh, let's start by first. Uh, creating a new project. I already created a new project. Let's ch change the title. Uh, phone book. Okay, this is it. Now I'm gonna need a data grid view in order to display the names. Okay, so changing this to fit in here. I will search for the anchor property. I'm gonna make it like this. The reason for that is whenever I change the window, it will uh, resize itself to pull it. Okay. Now well, I'm gonna add a menu. Oh, before that, let's just open this one where we will disable deleting, editing, and adding because we will add the records of, uh, through programming. Now let's select it columns. We're adding a number of columns. Now first one it will be the name of the person it will be a read only field the second one it will be the telephone number of the person TL as simple as that add and close and uh, this is what you're gonna see okay here you can see your uh, data grid next we are gonna add a menu item menu stripe where is the menu 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 uh, okay this is it Okay, so here, clicking here, let's say um, person or let's say contact, contact, and here let's say add new, and here let's say edit, uh, oh, no need, wait, let's add another option, gosh. and this type search so I have an option to search and an option to add a new person now let's go to uh, to the code page now first thing you you see we always whenever we do double click on a control you always see something like this private sub etc and this part of the definition is very similar to function this is actually is a subroutine and we have been using that for a while now without realizing that this is a subroutine the subroutine is exactly like a function except that it doesn't return a value some subroutines are connected to uh, a number of events like clicking a button changing text etc while others are uh, not you just call them whenever you need to use them okay so for now let's uh, start working on this one the first thing we need is to define number of variables here let's say define the main variables here we have dimension names as new collection this one will store the names and dimension let's say uh, TLs as a new collection we are going to create the first subroutine that receives a name and, tel and the telephone number and add them to these collections so add new person this will be like this More li uh, it's similar to the def definition of function except that you are writing sub the function name add contact and here uh, c name a string and ctl a string C for contact. Now I won't write as here because uh, subroutines doesn't return values, and the code is very simple. Names dot add um, the C name and uh, CTL dot add 
uh, dash T E L S dot add C T E L. Okay, this is a very simple subroutine. Another subroutine that we are gonna need is uh, a one that display the content of this collection inside our data grid view. Here, display the names and the grid. Here, it will be like this. In sub view contacts and we are gonna receive the GV as data grid view gosh I'm very slow okay now uh, first thing is to clear the grid so dgv dot rows dot clear and then we should loop over on all the item so for I uh, equals zero uh, one two we remember that collection starts from one not from zero uh, from one to names dot le, uh, dot count okay now we are adding the rows dgv dot rows dot add uh, this one will be names of i tls of i and this is the code that's it this display the information in the grid so now let's see what should we do the uh, um, handler for the add a new uh, contact command or item we should read the name and telephone so dimension n a string dimension t a string and here n equal input box let me just show you this one enter the name of the contact contact and here um, if n equal nothing then exit sub exit sub will allow me to exit the execution of uh, or stop the execution of this subroutine and go back to the main program uh, uh, and the, uh, it's, it's a very useful and simple command uh, you can also use exit function if you are writing the code inside the function now we are reading now the telephone number and t equal input box enter the tel number okay and if t equal nothing then exit sub after reading the values we will this, uh, add these so add contact will be like this and T and then display uh, sorry uh, view contacts it is view contacts and this one data grid if you one okay why did I use the word data grid view one because if you go to the main window and you click on this grid you'll find its name is data grid view one so I am passing this one to the subroutine and working in order to work on it okay let's test this part and then we'll work on the search let's save this one test uh, okay test sub one no problem let's save it let's be a second this is it now let's run the application we're having this one contact add a new person Smith this is telephone number contact add a new person Michael this is his number contact add a new person John and you get the idea as simple as that